Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on suspension cables. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. A three hinged stiffening girder of a suspension bridge of span 100 meter subjected to two loads of 200 kN and 300 kN at the distance of 25 meter and 50 meter from the left end. Find the shear force and bending moment for the girder at a distance of 30 meter from the left end. Tip of the cable is 10 meter. Find also the maximum tension and its slope in the cable. Now in the girder, let us find the vertical reactions VD and VF. First, let us find VD. For that, let us take moment about F. VD is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 100, so 100 VD. This load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 75. This load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 50. For VD, we will get 300 kN. To find VF, we have to subtract VD by the total load. The total load is 200 plus 300, so it will be 500. For VF, we will get 200 kN. Now we are going to find the equivalent uniformly distributed load, WE. We know that in the hinge E, when we add the bending moment due to the loading and the bending moment due to WE, it will be 0. In the hinge E, first let us find the bending moment due to loading. Let us find from F, it will be easy. The reaction 200 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 50. So 200 into 50. In the hinge E, the formula to find the bending moment due to the equivalent load WE is minus WE L square upon 8. L is 100. Let us apply that. Finally, for the equivalent uniformly distributed load, we will get 8 kN per meter. Now, in the cable, let us find the horizontal reaction H. The formula is WE L square upon 8H. WE is 8, L is 100 and H is 10. For H, we will get 1000 kN. Now, in the cable, let us find the vertical reactions VA and VB. The formula is WE L upon 2. WE is 8 and L is 100. For VA and VB, we will get 400 kN. Due to this equivalent load, we have found the vertical reactions in the cable which are acting upwards, but in the girder, the reactions will be acting downwards. Now in the girder, let us find the shear force at 30 meter from the left side. Let us keep the point as a G. This reaction is acting upwards so that it will be positive. This reaction is acting downwards so that it will be negative. This load is acting downwards so it is also negative. The uniformly distributed load is acting upwards so that it will be positive and the distance is 30. Finally, for the shear force in the point G, we will get minus 60 kN. Now, let us find the bending moment in the girder at 30 meter from the left side. This reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 30. So 300 into 30, this reaction is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 30. This load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 30 minus 25 so it will be 5. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the clockwise direction 
so that it will be positive and the distance is 30. Finally, for the movement, we will get minus 400 kilonewton meter. Now, let us find the maximum tension in the cable. The formula is root of V square plus H square. V is 400 and H is 1000. Finally, for T max, we will get this. We have to find the slope where the maximum tension occurs. Using cos formula, we can find the slope theta which is 21.8 degree. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.